Good afternoon, Babu. Are you coming in for something to eat? You've been looking for me. I've got the washing machine on. Come on then. In you come. We'll get organised, will we? What would you like? Would you like some bread or oatmeal today? I think you like the oatmeal. Hold a second, please. Well, it's the 14th of July, 24, and uh, typically on a Sunday afternoon we've got uh, light aircraft in the sky. Not cloud seeding, just a pile that's been a selfish nuisance. But uh, I've brought you into the garden. I've done quite a lot of uh, loads about my garden, uh, but I've not actually uploaded them to uh, my channel. But these are the... Uh, I, I put them in a different place this year, the these Sweet Williams and the scents from these plants are absolutely magnificent, you've no idea it's really fragrant so they really enjoy the sunshine not in the shade that they've been used to so I've swapped things around, around. I'm just watering things I've uh, taken these plants off my doorstep uh, because uh, the intensity of the heat is just too much for them and uh, they can't put, you know, sunglasses on, or, or they can't put on, uh, you know, sun cream or anything. So I bring them there. They get a little heat and sunshine, which they love, of course. And then when the intensity of the west sun hits the doorstep later on in the afternoon, for hours upon hours, uh, they won't get scorched. But uh, being rumbled in season. Oh, let's let me show you some of the colour. I've put in here, uh, this plant here, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, what's it called again, Any? the Coreopis, well they were blooming yellow, but uh, they've all gone back again, I think we've got a second lot though, more sweet williams, and uh, these are uh, the pink geraniums, and the plants are absolutely gorgeous. This is another, it's an osteoporous or something, what do you call it again, any? I think I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. I think I'll edit that part out where I've just sneezed. But these are the, uh, the flower baskets I've done up in the springtime. Uh, Nasturtium and geraniums and uh, a chilling sweet pea, but unfortunately the heat and lack of light has uh, disturbed some of them. But these sweet peas are coming away all right, and you can see they're very delicate pink and white. And uh, the uh, nasturtiums have come through quite early too. And uh, there's some deep red and pink uh, geranium uh, florets here. This plant here is called Jacob's Ladder, and it's on retreat now. But the bees love that one. And uh, this is my mint, which uh, I better give another soaking. I've taken a lot of this mint for tea and stuff. But, uh, oh yes, where's my watering can? I need to have to fill it up again. The, the geraniums, which i done a lot of cutting back on, uh, they're quite happy with that. And uh, they've come away absolutely superbly this year. Very, very good. And being the uh, Wimbledon season, in fact I think it's Wimbledon final, isn't it? Somebody wants to spend an afternoon indoors sitting watching a bloody tennis ball going back and forward. Well, good luck to them. And I dare say if uh, the final overruns, the probably the BBC will probably have a word with the uh, umpire. Look, can you wrap it up? Uh, when you've got a football match to beam out from Berlin this evening. But uh, you can see the... The fire reds on this one, I, I've, I don't know the name of it. I bought that uh, um, as a, a very small plant the year before last, and it's absolutely glorious. There's lots and lots of flowers. And as per usual, the reason I mentioned uh, Wimbledon is because uh, my uh, Michaelmas daisies always come out for Wimbledon. They're slightly later this year because of the cooler conditions, but they're normally out for the uh, early July. But they're going to give a really decent show. 
and with the sunny weather forecast for the next few days they're going to be really really in their element it's a real sign of summer in my garden with this lot and I've had a, a real haven of um, the uh, honeysuckle this year and the, the scent in the evening was, was magnificent and attracted lots and lots of moths plus the, the bees and other insects during the daytime this corner is the one that I uh, abandoned, which I'll be building up again in the winter time. But I had to get rid of lots of plants. It was all becoming a bit of a nightmare in this corner, so it's uh, a work in progress, unfortunately. And uh, that's just the way it's turned out this this area. But I'll I'll do work, and I left the uh, you know the sticky really to do its own thing. It helps actually. Um, it's nature's uh, own, what do you call it? Uh, uh, let me get the word any. Oh. Staking, uh, like, you know, I, I tie up everything with, uh, with tape and wire and stuff like that. You know, I do this early in the season and that helps all the plants. There's a huge sort of crisscross arena in there. But this is uh, nature's own way of doing it, holding up the plants, having the, uh, the sticky oil. There's heat in that sun, any. But we're not going to water all these flowers, uh, you see, because um, nature does its own thing for all these plants. Uh, despite the yellow colour of this um, bird's foot trefoil, it's called, um, it's a damn nuisance. It spreads everywhere. And I'm going to leave some of them, but because uh, it's a delightful yellow, but they are a uh, very invasive plant. Um, but these ones uh, have uh, forced their way through and uh, they're all quite happy. Here's a little shot for you, Annie. And the pink and the uh, tibis there. It's all very, very pretty. I love it. I love all the effort uh, when you get the rewards. You've got to be patient as a gardener, you see. But, um, I haven't sp spent as much time this uh, this summer as I have in the past. Not really on the garden, but uh, I will tell you that uh, the times that I've spent out here have been absolutely idyllic, so peaceful. So this is all the staking of the plants, and there's the uh, some of the uh, the string and stuff that I use keeps everything intact and if the wind attacks it they don't uh, bend over and collapse you see I've got my Gallic station playing away merrily indoors and it's uh, something from uh, well one of the free church of Scotland's in the Western Isles it's singing away So there's a moment's silence really, apart from the music. You might not pick up the music, but uh, the plane's gone away and uh, look at the colours here, Eddie. These make an excellent cut flower. Uh, once they dry out, so I use them as uh, in my winter collection for the, the taking down to the graveyard and stuff. But this gives me an ample, this all comes out in the yellow flower, but I, I, as I keep telling you, despite all my efforts, I, I've only found the name of that once and I've meant to copy it down, I can't find the bloody thing to where I wrote it. This is not doing so well in here, I need some more water, this should be a, coming out a nice uh, orangey colour. But uh, it's struggling in that pot to be honest, so I need to think about that for next year. I've. Uh, I suggested to Abercair the estate uh, and they're delighted with my offer but uh, I'm saying to them I, uh, I got too many plants now uh, and would you care to have some Michaelmas daisies and the likes and she said oh yeah that'd be absolutely superb so I'll, I'll see what happens and uh, I'll take some snaps in the autumn and decide what I'm going to do because uh, just like everybody, the, the plants don't like when it gets too overcrowded. They, they, they all struggle there, and it means that nobody's getting the, the benefit of what's in the soil. They're all, they're all competing with each other. And, uh, you know, it's like uh, the table's set for four, and uh, 12 people turn up for 
you know, for the plate of soup and the mothers only made uh, enough for four or five people. It's, it's really good and this, uh, the scent of this particular version of uh, lavender in the evenings is, is, is something else. It's gone back a little bit now, but uh, there's more growth coming through, so this needs to be potted up, any, And uh, we'll put some water in there today, but we'll get this organised during the week and get it potted up to a, a larger one. But I love the little, um, these little dainty geraniums. And uh, I, I absolutely adore them. There's something very sweet about these plants. And... Uh, no matter how many times they've been moved and struggled or weeded out and by accident, they always seem to return. They're very faithful to me, this uh, plant in the garden. And as I've mentioned before, the strawberries, I uh, don't eat them. I, I leave them for the, uh, for the mice. And as a mice, uh, a mouse comes in and nibbles away in the evenings, and I'm sound asleep. And... Uh, he yeah, has a decent feed. And uh, the self heal. I've got plenty of these actually. And that's a good sign, Andrew, because uh, we've got plenty of picking of our own for self heal tea and the likes. This is the plant that uh, enabled me to stop smoking the first time. I picked, uh, it must have been at least a couple of hundred of these. Uh, maybe more, and uh, yes, it was. And I um, dried them out, and in a dry format, although they dry naturally uh, in the sunshine. And then I just uh, rubbed them down into uh, a sort of, uh, into, what do you call it, cigarette paper, rolled it up, and uh, puffed away. Uh, it didn't burn terribly well, but um, it going into the lung suddenly told me, well, it's just necessary to be smoking, and I just stopped. So I might do that again, actually. I'm fed up smoking. I am, I'm fed up with it. Look at that. And this whole garden will be all yellows and whites. But let's not there linger too long, Amy. We've got a lot to push on with today. The 14th of July. I think that's Bastille Day in France, isn't it? And last week they were looking forward to uh, the far right taking over the political scene, and then something very odd happened in France. Very mistrustful of the election processes. That somehow the, th the third place party could suddenly be the leaders, and then all, the, and then the, the the leading party could suddenly be wiped out. Yes. Something very odd. There's a lot more other things going to be happening. Uh, tomorrow, the 15th of July, uh, Uranus and Mars are in opposition, and it's, uh, it's kind of like a war, warlike situation, and uh, things might just uh, get a bit difficult on the planet. I'm not sure how long. I'll have to check just to see how long this, uh, this lasts for, but... Uh, what will be uh, happening though is uh, with Leo, uh, the moon going into Leo, sorry, the sun going into Leo, well, of course, the new moon in Leo as well, but this happening in, the, in a week's time, you'll probably uh, find that the temperatures start to soar, a fire sign, and Mars is a fire sign, you know, and uh, everything's starting to lean forward to a very, very hot period uh, for at least, uh, at least, I'd say certainly for most of uh, early August, I think we'll be baking hot. I do think so. And um, anyway, the last week in July and the first few weeks of August. So make the most of it. And I better make the most of it with the water and the tap and get these plants all... i get a drink, any. Yes, it says, give me a drink, ain't he? Thank you very much. If you give me a drink, I'll put on some more colour for you. <laughs>